Hi guys, Detective Jim. Hi oh, Detective Paul, we're out again for you. Boys and girls, Detective Jim. And Detective Paul, we're back out again for you. Uh, it's Sunday, the day after the group dig. Uh, we're back on one of our lands that we've on, been going on quite a while now, haven't we? Uh, yeah. We've plenty of silver off this field. So we're going to see what else we can find. So from Detective Jim. And Detective Paul. We'll catch you on the first hole with a bit of a twist. Oh, boys and girls. I had a target to fill it in, but I won't go in front, but I might as well. That size of that little tiny musket ball. Absolutely tiny. Oh well, catch you next. Well, my friends, we're back out again. First proper signal, I've had a couple of bits of tat. But, since the man was talking, I've never found this. It's a button. I don't think I'll be getting much off that. Give us a minute. Well, anyway, guys, there's definitely something there, but your guess is as good as mine. On to the next. The button because it's bald, but. Go on. Can you guess where it is yet? That probably is a pit token. token. It's like Elwood or something like that. Yeah. Could be wrong. I'll get him to clean it up later. See if there's any writing on it. It's got like an edge around it, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's got an edge. Double edge. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. There you go, mate. As Lucas would say, boot on. Well guys, Big Jim's got a signal, it's a bit scratchy, yeah? but what a lad. Still in the hole. Yeah, uh, it's not going now. Guys. I think that might be a bullet It's case. a shotgun, shotgun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, a tiny one. You know what they say here, James? Booby Booby prize. prize. On to the next, James? Yep, on to the next. Well, guys, we'd be alright getting shot with this. Look at the size of that. A monster. <sighs> eh? That'll take your head clean off, as Clint Eastwood says. <laughs> On to the next. I just walking over to Paul. He says he's got something. Modern? Yeah, but looks of it. Uh not sure, mate, to be honest. Does anyone know what that is? Leave a comment below. Well, guys, after Jim's little coin there, and his little there, I've come across a relic. <laughs> I think it's a draw pull. On to the next. Right guys, Paul's got a target. Solid 80. I'm on not the, promising it's any good. On the 80 max. But it's solid. You 
just uh, just missed it just had a beautiful rainbow going into two of our fields. Sh ha, ha. Boo we fly Yeah we had a rainbow going into this field and the one we got over there. But yeah that was absolutely awesome. Whether it's going to bring us any luck. Yeah, let's see if it brings us any luck. Right, catch it. Alright, guys, got a target. And it's in here. What is it? Uh, no idea yet, mate. <laughs> I think it's a modern pound coin. It's a quick Hang on, coin. Mate, guys. Well, hold that a minute, Paul. It is, is it? No, it's a tiny bit. Oh, is it? Yeah. What is that coming at? At 90. Yeah, then. Yeah, it's a tiny bit. Let's see, can I get a date? Been 1940 odd, wasn't it? I can't get a date, but yeah, threatening a bit. Cool. Coin in the park. On to the day. Well, guys, not much of a creature feature. We dug it out, and uh, we was taking a photograph of the park. Shall we video it for Sonic? Yeah. Oh, let's see if we can stand it up. Anyway, there you go. Let's stir up. The dancers on to the next. Right guys, no target. I do apologise for the ring. And um, yeah, it's just a piece of red pipe. Never mind, catch on this one. Well guys, my first proper target. I don't think it's a piece of a spindle oil. Broken. Well that's where I reckon it is. On to the next. Well, my friends, uh, I've got a piece of lead here. It looks like it's got a pattern on it. Let's see if we can clean it together. Huh? Definitely got a pattern on it. Just five minutes. Well, guys, it's definitely got a pattern on. See if we can get it some for you. Whatever it's a pattern of. Let's see if we can get it some. There you go. If anybody knows, post below. On to the next. Right guys, a bit of an unusual find. Ah. Uh, not got a clue what it is. There's a hole going through there and it's a hole there. Yeah, not got a clue. If anyone know what it is, please leave a comment below. Right, catch you on the next. Anyway guys, a clog class. Definitely. On to the next. Well guys, Big Jim McCaskey's done it again. I'm telling you what, the signals on here were getting coins at 61, 68, 82s, and now at 57. And there she blows, amigo. Here's the silver. It's not silver. Sorry about the wind noise. Let's get the, uh, the old spit and the polish. The old spit and polish, eh? Right? See if I get a better. Jim Paul, spit and polish. It cleans, it gleams, and makes your coins clean. If you're not using them on coppers, that's where. 
<coughs> no viable. Can I have a quick look at it, James? Yep. Let's try and see. Looking a bit toasty. Eh? Yeah. It's something, it's a coin. Roundness in the hole. On to the next. Next. Well, boys and girls, we have got something that's cleaned it up. We've got a pattern on. I reckon it's the front of a book. I'm not sure. Oh, God, I don't think it's silver, it's not weight enough, is it? No. Cracking signal. So yeah guys, any ideas? And that's the back. Well guys, a surface fan. It's a little wheel. I've found one of these before. I'm sure it's off a train, sorry train. But I could be wrong. But yeah, surface fine. Well next. guys, I've just had my little train wheel. I'm not going to show you this in a minute. I'm just going to show you that. Yeah, just give us a minute while I clean it off. This is a cat badge or lapel badge or something, isn't it? But you've had looked at it yet. Bit of water. Look at that. It's got a rose. Yep. And a cannon. How Thank awesome you. is that? Definitely best finder today. Isn't it? Yep. Let's get a bit of a. You don't know why they'll give you a proper look. Oh, yeah. There you go guys, if anyone knows what military background that's got, please let us know. Yeah, and I think it's, some, it's either a lapel badge, because of that on the back. But right. yeah, absolutely cool that mate. Well, Cannonballs, cannon, and man and Jim's rolls. Cool, well done mate. To the well, Boyne's Grill finally got a target on this field. Not just there, as you can see. And it's definitely a coin. Yeah, but look at it, it's toast. Yeah, it's definitely toasted that one. Uh, I'll try and give it a boom better clean. Oh, there you go. You just about to see it, a lizard. Yeah, down here, Elizabeth. Uh, oh, Vicky. Could be one of them. I'll give it a proper clean when I get back to the car. Oh well, yeah, first coin off this field. Alright, catch you on there. Well guys, I've come a long, long way since the thinking cap or lapel badge. But I've got a... Ching ching! An old bicycle bell. Ching ching! On to the next.
Well guys, the time has come. It's rainless in the hall. Let me get back to you, I'll clean it off. It's toasted guys. Nothing on it. On to the next. Hello boys and girls. Yes. I have no target. Coin. 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 Uh, it's just right there. <laughs> I think it's a coin. Yeah, it's definitely a coin. Oh, he's dropped it. Paul's on his way or what? Yep, like the others, all toasted. Yeah. Yeah, don't they toast. Alright guys, catch you on the next one. Coin in the hole. <laughs> oh, Paul sees the weight. Paul's got us tired, it. So we don't know what it is. What did it come in at? 60 odd. Hmm. I'm not saying it's one of them, I think it's oh, one of them. Well, it might be a pipe stabber. Pipe tamper, yeah, could yeah. be. Could be a pipe stabber. Might have had a ring on it for all Yeah. Me. Just clean it up and see what picture, if you get any pictures on it, mate. Yeah, yeah, well. I've got a piece of brass over there. So. Is it on that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's on. Yeah, yeah, on to the next, guys. Right, let's go over and see what i got. Nothing special. But this is the reality of metal detecting. You're not going to find coins all the time. You're always going to hang your rubbish. And it's just this here. Yeah, nothing much. Well, that's the reality of uh, metal detecting. We had silver off this field. Loads of silver. Today, hardly anything. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Right, catch you on next. Well, boys and girls, we have got no target. You see? Hey, uh, some type of pin. Uh, got a lot of pee on it. Nothing on the back. I don't think it's that old, but you never know. So, if anyone knows what that pin is, please leave a comment below. Catch you on the next. Well guys, Big Jim McClaskey only does it again. We haven't got another coin. What is it, James? Aye, it's another threatening bit. Another threatening bit? What did it come in at? 66, 67. Clickety click 66. But then it went up to 76, 77. Oh, right. So, that's a, a weird. But yeah, definitely a threatening bit. On to the next. Yeah, guys. Pause just there. Hey, you got, got a target. Done a little video. And this is mine. Uh, a lead seal. Oh, a small one. I'm not going to get much off it. But yep, I'd bag seal. Right, catch yeah. on that. Paul just there. He's got a target as well. I've got this one here. And it's this. It came in at 66.67 on the Garrett AT Pro. I've not got a clue of what it is. What a signal it gave me. Right guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I've come to show you what we've got today. Uh, 
These are Paul's finds. These are mine. I'll do Paul first. A big musty ball size, isn't it? Uh, a clog, a clog, clasp, part of a spindle wheel. We're not too sure what that is. A coin. Uh, this has got some type of pattern on. Uh, I get Paul did that proper clean up and send a picture to me. This is it, which has got some kind of pattern on it. We're not too sure what it is. Could be off a, I don't know. Could be off a watch. Or it's a wing cap for a parp. Yeah, could be. Now I said he had a surprise. Yes. For everybody. Surface fine. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bump. Mr. Bump. Well done. Uh, couple more buttons. Yep. Uh, I think that might be a trade token. Not a trade token. A uh, minus token, we're not too sure. I'll have a look on that. You got this here, which is a toy train wheel. Uh, we all know what they are. And I think Paul's best find today is this. That is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I try and find anything anything out about it if I can. I'm putting the description. Yeah, pretty nice that. I like that. Right, come on to my find. Bit of a spoon or fork, whatever it is. Little piece of lead. That's a uh, oh, you know what they are. I can't think of the name of. Them. What are they called again, Paul? Lead bag seal. Uh, yeah, lead bag seal. That's the one. Come on, you think what they are? Couple more pieces of lead. This is an interesting little bit. I haven't got a clue what it is. It's like a little hat, a lead like hat or something. A couple of musket balls, another big one there. Some type of weird yeah, thing that is. Pin. Uh, not too sure what's on it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five coins. Uh, that probably a penny. I'll give them a clean up when I get in. Two friendly bits. That's it from those guys. Not been a lot of decent finds, have they? Hey, you can't expect it to turn up good hey, stuff every time we exactly. come field. Exactly. Just hope we've not got it all. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a a slow day. We've been out, James. That's yeah, all yeah. yeah, yeah Weather's yeah, been fine. We had one that. little shower, and then that was it. But yeah. Uh, well, not been a bad find. Oh, it's ready to spin no. the world. No, it's too light. I think. It was, I found one of them the other week. I think it was off a toy car or something, a truck. Yeah, it could be. Train wheel as well. Yeah. But yeah, that's best oh, find. Oh, that's that, Yeah, that by far, that is the best find for today. Even beats mine, that. Paul's got his new cup now. Mr. Bump says, never go out there without your gloves or a first aid kit. Mr. Bump. So, right guys, from Detective Jim. And Paul, and Bump. We'll catch you on the next dig. Bye for now. Keep him positive. <laughs>